In this week's vlog, we have a really scary experience coming down the Wolverhampton flight. But is this large amount of water due to the recent storms, or have we caused it? And also, last week, you'll know that our engine went up in smoke. So what's happening with that? Right, I have an engine update. And it involves me doing something I've never done before, which I'm really scared about doing, but at least I'm gonna learn a new set of skills. We've just done the engine checks and we're gonna start making our way through these 21 locks of the Wolverhampton fly. And that's because really we're waiting for a part, but also we don't wanna get stuck behind lock closures. Uh, now yesterday the storm was here, but today it's sunny. We're going to have loads more rain, so we're going to take this opportunity, taking the boat through the locks on a sunny day, and, well, you're coming with me. <laughs> this is all rather lucky, having a boat just coming out as we need to go inside the lock. <laughs> I've forgotten that these locks actually need an anti-vandal key to get them going and at this point in time I'm just thinking it's because I've not been eating my weed to fix I can't shift them. Okay. We need our key. <laughs> oh, I've loved Hampton, I really have. It's funny because I've been watching the Flower of Gloucester which I highly recommend. Thank you so much Bicycle Hub for telling me to watch it. And their visit to Wolverhampton was completely different to my experience of Wolverhampton, which was a relief. Right. Yeah. Oi! Hey! Hey! Get out of here! 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 I'll put a link to it in my channel description. But I've really loved it here which is a good job because we couldn't move from here. We've got a boat behind us, so we are conscious about being too slow. Not wanting to hold the boat up behind us, I break rule number one of the Good Narrow Boaters guidebook, which is to take things slow. So I'm driving now. me slightly because of the engine. But I soon realised that the engine was the least of my worries. It was the sheer amount of water we had to deal with. The boat was being pushed around sideways and underneath, so we were bouncing up and down. It was really alarming to drive through. It looks like the autumn leaves are all heading towards the drains. Beautiful with the light all on it. This building here is an incinerator burning 105,000 tonnes of waste each year producing 8.7 megawatts of electricity.
and as we travel further down the flight the flooding seemed to get worse and worse in every pound. But we weren't losing any coolant this time, so things seemed much better in the engine bay. The lady who lives here just said she's never seen it like this before. And, oh, buzzard! Look at the buzzard! She's never seen it like this before. And um, apparently the next house works. We shall see, we shall see. I didn't quite know what to expect coming out of Lock 14, but when I did come out of Lock 14, I could not believe what I saw. This is right near the science block and so students have come out to see what's going on because just outside their university the car park suddenly became flooded. Outside the university. And that's when we notice the drain here at the top in the left hand side is not draining the water away at all. So we use our initiative and we all start trying to drain the pound using the paddle system that we've got and CRT get quickly down here and start to rake the drain area. We decided that we're going to wait and let the boat who was behind us go ahead but go ahead quite a few locks so we don't bring all this water down with us because the amount of water in the pounds is huge and then some of the weirs are a bit blocked and that's what's caused the problem here. So I suppose it helped that there were two boats coming down at the same time, one behind the other. That's so much easier now. Oh, it felt so lovely to be able to go slowly, relax and enjoy the beautiful autumnal colours. Isn't that magnificent? That viaduct, the Oxy viaduct. Absolutely beautiful. Eleven arches are completely straight and the one that crosses the canal sits askew to let the water run underneath it. Our conversation leads to her making a great film recommendation for me, which she kindly writes on a piece of newspaper that she's carrying. green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. So she wrote it up there for me. Oh, what's that? And then we turn onto the Staffs and Wuss. So where are we actually going? Well, we end up somewhere that we're not supposed to be going.
We're looking to stop somewhere to fill up with water, but there's nowhere for us to stop outside Oxley Marine. That means we'll have to turn onto the Shropshire Union Canal because their water point is nearer than the next one along the Staffs and Worcestershire Canal. There's a stop lock here to go through. We're on the Shropshire Union. We're not even supposed to be on the Shropshire Union, but we stopped here because it was just so beautiful. And further down, I've been reading that there is a nature reserve with some really ancient trees. So I've got to go and pay them a visit before we leave this canal. A bit of leaf peeping on the way because the colours are really starting to come out now. At Penderford Mill Nature Reserve, they have an amazing 2000 year old yew tree. I mean, 2,000 years ago, the Anglo-Saxons and Romans were occupying this space. This tree is home to a rare species of bat, apparently. But the amazing thing about our yew trees is that they can regenerate by producing fresh shoots from apparently dead wood. Unbelievable trees. Nature reserve number two. I still am yet to find our winter visitors to the Field Fair and the Red Wing, but it was beautiful watching another thrush, our blackbird, eating away at the berries. I just love leaf peeping, admiring the autumn colours this time of year. It's just such an uplifting thing to do. And whilst you're leaf peeping, you often see some incredible things, which is what I did on this walk. Our very mild autumn is definitely prolonging the flight time of the Red Admiral. And then I see a little bird that I've wanted to see for such a long time and I've not seen one for absolute years. It's our tiniest bird, it's the little gold crest. And then doing its own version of leaf peeping is this amazing heron. So I watched fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe and it was brilliant. I cried but it was a really good film but it's inspired me. So they're not going to ripen now, they won't ripen, I'm just going to pick. Oh. I'm going to pick my green tomatoes. I'm a bit worried that they're going to give me a giant bellyache because they are very green and they're very small. But let's try some fried green tomatoes. have an engine update and it involves me doing something I've never done before which I'm really scared about doing but at least I'm going to learn a new set of skills. So I am going to be taking the boat completely by myself. I've never done a solo cruise before to Oxley Marine because we had an amazing engineer who came down 
really quickly yesterday to have a look at the engine and he said that the head gasket has gone. And I know a lot of you have said that and thank you so much for your comments. We found them really useful, really supportive. So thank you so much. Now they can do the work today. They can get the part. I think they've already got the part. This is in one day and they are going to charge us, I think about 800 pounds, half the price we have been quoted from RCR. So it's hot. there's high winds this morning. There's gusts of 36 miles per hour. It's not raining now, but they have forecast rain. And I am going to move the boat to Oxley Marine. Just me and Zeph. Just me and Zeph. I've hardly slept. I've been so worried about it. I risk assessed it last night. I went on an evening walk with Zephyr and I did a risk assessment. So you've got the moored boats, the holiday boats on the left hand side. Ahead is the stop lock. Tie Alice up there. Leave her wedged in there. I've done that sort of thing before. And close the paddles down. Right junction. Don't get distracted by the ducks. And it's quite a nice turn. And basically, the biggest risk is me. <laughs> I think I'm the biggest risk. Okay, I'm gonna get ready now. Okay, I need you to be really good at crewing today, Seth. Yeah, I need you to be on top form. Are you able to do this? Because we're going to have to move the boat. Yes. We're going to have to move the boat. I know. Out there. Had a lot of leaves being blown last night. And the plug's up for 10 seconds. Give a big breath. Yeah. That's done. Let's get the tiller on. It's racing now, I tell you, it's really boom boom. Come, Seth, this way. God, Seth.
just feel so proud of myself. I just want to do more now. But what is really good, that's the windlass I came out with. And then I found another windlass. And it's my favourite kind of windlass. It's the rusty old battered old, I've lived a good life windlass. So there you go. Oh, so if we did it, we're a team, we're the dream team, lass. The force of the flood, the blast of the breeze, the whip of the wind, the clasp of the trees, the thud of the heart, the sweat of the palm, the clouds full of doubt, the storm without calm, the rattle of paddles, the surge of the stream, the rims brim filled, the path is unseen, the grey of the day, the bareness of boughs, the grip on the tiller, the whiteness of nails. The dazzle of yellows, the radiance of red, the glow of the gold, the leaves have been shed, the might of the tiny, the flight of the birds, the gift of a stranger, the scribble of words, the lift of the heart, the change of the view, the courage of magpie, the strength of the youth.